hello everybody. Welcome back to another daily vlog. So today is Saturday. Um, we we had sickness come through the house yesterday, stomach virus. Thankfully, it was very short-lived. It was basically me and Nate only. Nobody else has had any symptoms. Nate is feeling much better. Still not a ton of an appetite, but we haven't had any more symptoms um, of what we were having. <laughs> not being graphic. Um, so today is Saturday. I'm going to leave my glasses on because it is really sunny. I have like a slight headache and I think it's just coming off of the sickness and who knows what allergies and all that has been so bad for me. But anyway, um, I need to go run some errands. It's Saturday. This is the only Saturday for the next like six weeks that Nate does not have a baseball game. So we definitely enjoyed just sleeping in. <laughs> The kids were up and playing around seven. David and I were just like dozing off in our room until like nine o'clock. <laughs> um, they were just playing together so nicely. Of course, I always have one ear out, uh, but it was so nice. Like we never sleep in that light. I looked at the clock and I was like, oh my gosh. I thought I heard them up and playing and I kind of like looked at my phone for a little bit and like dozed off a little bit. And um, yeah, before I knew it, it was nine o'clock. And we needed that sleep. We needed it. It's so nice when your kids get older and, you know, they can play. I remember, like, getting up on Saturday morning and watching cartoons when my mom, my mom and dad slept in sometimes. It didn't happen often. But those kind of Saturdays we don't have anything to get to or go to. They're so nice. So, anyway, we got up. We've had coffee. It is now 11 o'clock. How? How is the day going by so fast? I have some things I need to get done today. First of all, I need to run some errands. Um, I saw, actually, Coles texted me this, that they're having a clearance event. The last couple clearance events they've had, I haven't really found anything, but I always check because sometimes I find some good deals. Nate, especially, could use some more summer clothes. Um, and I just would like to see what they have. Um, one bummer of a bad news is his computer, his Chromebook broke today. He's had this Chromebook for about a year and a half or so. It was very cheap and we bought the warranty, but when we tried to use the warranty, they said this wasn't included. And what's so frustrating is I always make sure that the warranty includes drops accidents, anything like that, because he's so rough on stuff like this. But they said it did not, the warranty we had did not include drops or, so I don't know, like maybe I clicked the wrong thing. I'm not sure, but they wouldn't re replace it. So we had to buy a new one, which they're only like $75 or so. Chromebooks are pretty cheap. So we had to do that this morning and he's very upset about it being broken, but what can you do? Like he's so rough on it. And I, I think it's a miracle it's lasted this long. <laughs> so, um, anyway, he has other things to do. He's got plenty of books. He's got a TV to watch and he's fine, but he was so sad this morning about his Chromebook. So we ordered another one. It won't be here till Thursday, I think. So we'll, we'll have a few days of, of, um, not having it, but that's okay. So anyway, I am about to run to the store because I need to get, so we decided last week we did like this breakfast before church and it was such a good hit and it, it was so fun to have everybody be able to kind of eat a little bit and fellowship before church that we've decided to keep it going. And so um, I need to get a few things for that. And hopefully like we'll have people sign up to d help me out like some weeks to bring stuff. So I don't have to bring stuff every single week. But I just figured even if we have like really basic like granola bars, stuff that I can just pull out shelf stable stuff, it'll still be great so people can eat fellowship and all of that. It's not going to be really like fancy like it was last week. Although last week wasn't really fancy either. But for the holidays, we may go out a, li a little bit stronger <laughs> on the breakfast. So I need to get a few things for that. Um, also, I need to get, um, what was it? I have no list. So we're going to be flying by the seat of our pants. We're going to go to Kohl's. I'm going to go to Sam's because, oh, this was the other thing. We have a team member, team member who's leaving. Um, our team. Um, and we're going to miss her so much and we're giving her some flowers for her last day. Um, 
she's about to graduate college and it's just, I'm excited for her future, but we are definitely going to miss her. So I need, I'm going to go to Sam. Sam's has like the best price on flowers and they're really, really pretty. So I'm going to go there and get her flowers for tomorrow. Um, there was something else I was going to do and I have no idea what it was. Like, I feel like there, I was going to the store for a purpose. Maybe it'll come to me, but I just thought I would carry you guys with me today. Whatever I do, I will show you guys. I think I'm going to go first to Panera, of course, and get some iced coffee. And then I'm going to go to Kohl's, and then I'll go to Sam's and Walmart, and then I'll come back home. And hopefully all of that won't take too long. Um, I was trying to think of what to bring for breakfast tomorrow. We still have some leftover mini donuts, like the prepackaged kind, and we still have some granola bars. But I was looking in my fridge and freezer and stuff. And I have everything I need to make a breakfast casserole, like a very basic breakfast casserole, except for I need a pound of sausage and I need some cheese. So I'm going to pick those things up. But I feel like there was something else too, but who knows? I don't know. Um, when I get home, I need to do some YouTube work because all day yesterday I did nothing. I laid on the couch. I felt terrible. <laughs> it was just rough. Um, but thankfully, we're all feeling better. So that is great. So I need to do some YouTube work tonight. I need to get caught up on the house. The house looks like a bomb went off on it. It's crazy that I can not do housework for like one day and it all goes south. <laughs> but it, will, it won't take me long. To, we'll all pitch in and we'll get it back together. So I feel like I'm already all over the place. Y'all come spend the day with me. It's going to be a good one. Uh, let's get going. Yeah. Okay. Caffeinated again. <laughs> Let's go to Coles. You guys, you guys are a part of this today. We're going to run errands together. It is gorgeous. Like, I feel bad that we're not out at the park or something because it is like 60 degrees, sunny, and gorgeous. But it's probably good to let Nate have another day to just chill. So. Here we go, into Kohl's. So I'm not actually seeing any signs saying there is a clearance event, but they did email me that, so I'm gonna look around. But look how cute these like spring dresses are. I kinda dig those. Um, I don't think they're on sale, but they're cute. I love a good floral. This is more of like a wrap style. I'm on sale, so I'm going to wait, but I thought they were cute. Okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing any signs usually. Oh, yep, I am too. Hold on. All right, there wasn't any signs up front, and there was no signs in the ladies' department, but this is what you want to look for. The clearance event? Yes. So it looks like they are doing it. Um... Very much like winter stuff. It's hard to know what size my boys will be next winter. There is some short sleeve though. So let me just look around and see. I haven't really found much for the boys. Um, lots of winter stuff, but it's just hard to know what size they'll be. They did have some shorts, but they were not their size. But look at this for Lucy. This would be like $5.10. It's like a little skirt. It's kind of like a bluish green color. And then these Under Armour shorts would be $5. They look kind of big, but it says youth large, which is what she wears. Um, but Under Armour for $5, they look like just comfy play shorts. They have a bunch of leggings and stuff. I just don't know if she's what size she's going to be next year. These leggings would be $3. They got a bunch of sweatpants, they got jeggings, um, just a bunch of stuff. And then like, part of me is like, well that's cute, but I don't know if she has a top that would go to it. So, um, I don't know. 
Let me keep looking. It's more stuff for Lucy. She's been telling me how she wants a hoodie that zips down the front just for like to put on at school when she's cold. This would be five twenty-five. I think she would like it. Now I think I'm going to get an extra large, even though she can wear a large, just so it'll be nice and big. And then next year it'll fit. Um, but they have like these little camis too, but I don't see them in her size. But that's a good price. It would be $2.15 or something. They got a bunch of white ones. I think they only go up to size 8 though. That's going to be too small. Um, more hoodies. It's a seven. Little joggers. That's a seven. Lots of size seven and eight. Guys, look at this cute little black Nine West skirt. It's so cute. I think I could get a lot of wear out of this. Don't mind my shirt that I'm wearing that doesn't go at all. It's so cute. It's like a line a little bit. I just think I could probably get a lot of wear out of this at church. It's super comfortable. Just wanted to show you guys the price. I list. It would be eight dollars and ten cents. Crazy. It's hard to see with these. They are dress pants. They are Vera Wang size extra large, which is crazy that I can wear them. Um, but they're, I like them a lot, but they're very like wintry feeling and I don't know if I will be able to wear them next year. So I think they're really cute. They only be $11, but I think I'm going to pass. This skirt is so cute. I don't think I have anything that would match it. It's like blue, these light, I guess I could wear pink. It's Draper James, which I like the brand. I don't know if it's the right length for me. I don't know if I would wear it, but it's really cute. Thanks, you guys. I spent like an hour in there looking around. That's the only thing about the Kohl's clearance events. You have to shop all of it because you just never know what you're going to find. They have home stuff on clearance. Um, they have jewelry, purses, pajamas, um, anything that they sell, like every section, you have to check it out because you just never know. I ended up getting $25 worth of stuff, which I think was a really good price. I got the black skirt. I know that wind is loud. Let's get in the car. There was a few things I debated about, but really trying to not buy a lot unless I just really think I'll use it. So I got Lucy the pink shorts, Under Armour shorts. I got her the little skirt and the hoodie. Plus I got that Nine West skirt for me. All of that was $25. Let's see how much I saved because that's the exciting part. <laughs> the cashier was just like, you did so good. I told them, I love when y'all do the clearance events. They were like, I know. Okay. This is say you saved $101.55. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's crazy. That is crazy. I got that skirt for $8.10. Lucy's, um, I told you guys all the prices, but Lucy's stuff was $5 each. Crazy. So, all right. Now I have a basic black skirt because I needed that. And I could wear it with so many different things. Um, trying to like only buy stuff like I really liked that blue Draper James skirt but I don't have anything I know of that will look good with it and you can't wear a skirt that's that patterned and standout-ish <laughs> a lot because people will know it's the same thing it's very much like a statement piece but like a black skirt I could wear that you know all the time with different stuff so anyway and I feel like skirts are a little bit more forgiving in terms of losing weight. Um, skirts like that that are like A-line, even if it gets a little bit big on me, I still think it'll I'll be able to wear it. So it was fun. I left my drink in here because their buggies are not conducive to drinking around the store. But 
It's a little bit weaker today than normal, but it's still good. All right, I think I'm going to go to Walmart next because I was going to get those flowers at Sam's and it's really warm today and I don't want them to wilt in the car. So we're going to go to Walmart and then actually I may go to Kroger instead of Walmart because that it's right beside Walmart. The only thing I need is cheese and sausage and Kroger will have that. So I think I'm going to go to Walmart. I mean, Sam. <laughs> Kroger. Lucy used to call it Krogrit when she was a baby. So Krogrit. I'm going to go there. I know they have raspberries on sale too, and that'll be a great treat for Luce. David texted me, or actually FaceTimed me while I was in there, and said Mark was eating pizza. Let's all, like, have a celebration. I've been really working on him about taking bites of food, not being afraid. Like, he's super picky. Pizza is a food that he used to eat, but he hasn't eaten in a while. And so every time we make it, I've been trying to get him to just take a bite. And, um... David said he ate like three bites before he called me and he would not, he would not take a bite for me on FaceTime. <laughs> it's like, no, I feel like he just gives me heck. Um, but I'm so happy, like three bites of pizza. That may seem so stupid, but that is worth a celebration. That is worth a celebration. I think I'm going to go ahead and get some meat. I don't have any defrosted, but I'm going to just buy some meat and do tacos and beans for him for dinner. And then David and I can have a taco salad or something. We still have a little bit of talk of a uh, chicken taco meat left, but not enough. So, um, if I think I need to look and see how much the meat is at Kroger, but hopefully it's not too bad and I can just buy some and we can do taco salads tonight. That sounds really good. So anyway, I love Cole's clearance events, but it just takes a while. Sometimes I'll walk out with hundreds of dollars worth of stuff. And honestly, if they had had more in Nate and Mark are the ones I think that this summer are going to need the most. Lucy has a lot of dresses and stuff for church. Nate has grown, especially Nate. Mark is still, he's still very much can wear a lot of his stuff from last year or a lot of the stuff I bought, you know, throughout the year. He's still kind of fitting into fours and fives. Nate is about to move to a men's small. I am just, I cannot believe it. He has grown so much this year. He was wearing 14, 16s, and he still can in some things, but some 14s are way too small for him. He is almost 12, and he, it's crazy how fast he's grown, which is great. It's a great thing, but I just can't believe it. Like, it's not going to be that much longer. Coles does have extra large in boys that's like 18, 20. Um, but I bought Nate a men's size small autism shirt and it fit fine. The arms are a little bit long, but it fit. So it's probably going to have, I feel like right now the length would be our biggest concern. Um, uh, but in another year, so if they had had more stuff in his size now, I would have bought more for him, but all of it, I just don't know if he's going to wear next year. It's hard to know. So it's hard. I like buying ahead, but then also sometimes when you buy ahead, it doesn't end up working out. So I try to like weigh it. Um, when your kids are smaller, it's pretty much easier. Like, you know, they're going to go from a 4T to a 5T most likely. But when they start getting to be like preteen and stuff, I've, I've had Nate skip sizes completely and it's like he grows overnight. So anyway, I still have like a slight headache. I'm going to eat. I brought these crunchers with me. I'm going to eat these, drink my coffee, go to Kroger, Krogrit and Sam's. Um, part of me is like, maybe I should go shopping at like TJ Maxx or something, but I don't know if I want to do all that. I still have a lot of stuff I need to get done at home. It's just such a beautiful day. It's like, why go back home? It's so nice, but maybe we can take the kids outside and just let them play out in the yard. Um, so that's a beautiful day. I, I wore this long sleeve shirt cause I checked the weather before I left and it said 56 and 56 last week was cold, <laughs> but the wind was blowing and all that last week. This week, 56, it's probably now in the 60s, is like really warm because there's no wind. The sun is out, so I'm burning up. I really want a few more dresses, um, but I don't know. At the same time, I'm trying not to buy a lot. That's why I think the skirt was a good move. Maybe I can find a top soon. I think I have some that will kind of go with that. Anyway, let's go to Walmart. No, Kroger. <laughs> Kroger, but look how cute some of their dresses are. 
Josie really doesn't need any more dresses, but I mean, they're 25% off of $20. So it would be, what is that? Like 15, $16. They have like, look at this one. They are so cute. See that yellow. I kind of like the orange one. I feel like that might be too big for her though. And the only other size is an eight and that's definitely going to be too small. This one's cute. It has long sleeves though. I mean, the yellow one's cute too. She does not need this. This one says that family coordinates. I'm wanting to go look and see if they have like a women's one up. Like we could match. I don't know if Lucy would like that or not. They have a 1012 in this one. It's not as cute to me as the others, but it's still really cute. Don't sleep on Kroger's clothes. I think they're so adorable. I like this one the best. They don't have her size though. Shirts are so cute. I like how far they go up. You got this cute little detail and a bow in the back. These are women's. They're so cute. They're $48, but they're 40% off. Got that one. I really don't want to. Oh, look how cute. This black shirt is. I really shouldn't. I just think that's so cute. I don't know. The one that was cute. I don't know. I do think they are really, really cute. But, I don't know. I'm not going to get any clothes, but it is super tempting. I'm going to keep an eye on some of this and see if they mark it down even more. Okay, so this is what I'm getting at Kroger. They have this in the reduced section. I think this will go great with the breakfast tomorrow. It still feels really moist. It's a chocolate pudding cake. $3.84, that's a great price. I got some raspberries for Lucy. This is for the breakfast tomorrow. A big bag of oranges and some bananas just to add some freshness. I got ground beef for us. This was on sale for $4.99. And normally it's like $9. That's crazy. And then for the breakfast casserole, I needed sausage and um, some cheddar. And then these are on sale again for $3.99. When they're on this cheap, I just have to buy them and put them in the freezer. So I got three rising crust cheese and then this was part of the promotion too and i don't think nate's ever tried this croissant crust i don't know if they'll like it or not but something different and then i got a regular pepperoni too so i'm gonna go check out and we're gonna go to sam's i'm trying to decide what flowers those are pretty picked out these so far they look pretty there's a couple of leaves that are kind of yucky looking, but the rest of them look good. So I could just pick those off. Sam's flowers, I just feel like are really good. I also don't like those. I don't like doing straight up roses. There's a lot of roses. They're pretty, but I don't know. I feel like they're kind of boring. I think I'm going to go with these. I am finally done. Didn't buy anything exciting at Sam's. Well, I mean, the flowers are really pretty. Um, those bouquets at Sam's are just, they're better than Walmart. They're the best they're, and they're a really good price. Um, I got a big thing of plates because we're running low at church. So a big thing of plates. I think there's like 300 plates here. So that should last us a while. And then I wanted to get one more like shelf stable item to keep at the church for like some weeks. We're not going to do like a hot breakfast. They had these for $10, these pastry crisps. That's cheaper than the Aldi version. I think there's like eight in a box at Aldi for like three or four dollars. So 60 of them for 10 is pretty good. So I'm going to keep those at the church and then we can always have them, you know. Uh, it has been right at two hours since I was at Panera and I don't need another drink. I still have like half of a cup. But I think I have to pass right by it to get home. So I think I'm going to run in there and just get an iced coffee, no ice, and then stick it in the fridge. And it'll be perfect for tomorrow. That way I won't have to run in the morning before church. And then I'm going to go home. I've got a headache really bad. Um, it's turning into a migraine. I took some medicine before I left the house. And it is just not, it's not helping. So I'm going to go home and just try to get rid of that. And then I need to get some work done. It's after 2 o'clock. It's crazy how fast the day is going by. So I will see y'all back in a little while. Hello everybody. Good evening. I'm sitting out here on the on the porch or on the 
outside area. It's not really a deck. Um, we have got to get this backyard area put back together after the fall. and It's a hot mess back here. But anyway, it's been a really good day. I haven't talked to y'all since I've been home. Had a really bad headache, but it, it went away pretty quickly. So I'm very thankful for that. I got two videos edited today, which is great. So I'm all caught up from what I missed yesterday from being sick. Nate is still not 100%. I'm feeling much better than he is, but he's still, and I still feel a little bit queasy, but he is eating, but not a great appetite. I made him a quesadilla, cheese, just plain cheese quesadilla for dinner. And he ate that, but he did not eat his lunch. Um, he's had a cereal bar today. He's had, uh, I'm trying to think of what else he had. Some like very light like that. I was glad he was able to eat the cheese quesadilla, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how he does over the night, but he is He's feeling better. He's playing. He's just not having much of an appetite. I think his stomach is just trying to get back in the swing of things. He's drank Sprite. He's kept hydrated with like Crystal Light Lemonade and Sprite. And um, anyway, hopefully. Oh my God. Okay. <sighs> that terrified me to no end, y'all. I heard this weird noise. It almost sounded like someone walking back here, which you can't walk back here. It's like a, it's like a construction zone. But um, anyway, it was squirrels. They jumped from our roof over here. I don't know if they're mating or what, but oh my gosh, that scared me to death. I thought they were about to jump on me. I'm not a big fan of squirrels. <laughs> I didn't know what it was at first. Oh man. Okay. Where was I going with this? Um, we made dinner, or I made dinner. I made tacos, and Mark was happy to have tacos and beans. Um, Lucy and Nate had a cheese quesadilla. Lucy has decided she loves cheese quesadillas. I've only told her she would love them for like four years. But she loves grilled cheese. I'm like, you would love quesadillas. You need to try them. And she finally did, and she loves them, of course. And uh, I'm like, you need to go have one at a Mexican restaurant because those are the best. You know, with a white cheese. Anyway, they had that. Um, me and David had, well, David had a taco salad. I had my zucchini taco bowl that I make all the time. Here's a picture of it. It's cottage cheese, roasted zucchini, a little bit of taco meat, uh, light cheese, some avocado, and some taco sauce. It is so good. The cottage cheese just makes it, like, really creamy. It's almost like having sour cream or something. Um, for David, I didn't take a picture of his, but what I've been doing is we've not had sour cream. I've just been out of it. Like we've been buying like the light sour cream. These squirrels are literally jumping from branch to branch a very far distance and they almost fall every time they do it. Um, there's bugs out here. Okay. I am not an outdoorsy person, obviously. Um, it does feel nice to just sit out here sometimes, but you get eaten alive. Um, Instead of sour cream, I've been putting Greek yogurt, non-fat or non-fat, unsweetened Greek yogurt, and I've eaten it sometimes too on different things. It's so good; like it tastes so much like sour cream, especially if you're putting it on top of something, which is all I would ever do. Like I never just sit down and eat sour cream straight up. <laughs> so Layla, Layla's whining to go back in. You don't want to stay out here with me? She's like, I am done. So anyway. It was a good day. Here is question of the day. Describe your perfect Saturday. Do you like to go out and do activities? Do you like to stay home? What it would be like if you had a perfect Saturday where you weren't working and um, you could do whatever you want, let me know what you would do. Mine, probably our favorite thing is just to be at home, play games, watch movies, read, just be at home. That's probably my very favorite Saturday, just to relax after the kids have been gone all day or all week at school. It's nice to have everybody home. It is fun when we get to go out and do activities and, and get out and stuff too, but I think my favorite is just when we're at home, kind of like today, except I was gone for a few hours in the middle of the day. But anyway, I got some really good deals. Um, I came home and tried on that black skirt with a couple of different things, and I love it so much. I am so glad that I got that skirt. I think it's the cut of it is very flattering on me. Um, when I got home, I was trying different shirts, and 
I have decided that I'm going to have to tuck in my shirt to make it like show off my waist, which is just such a strange thing because I've never wanted to show my waist off. I've never, like I've always just worn things untucked because it's more, you know, covers up all of the things I didn't want to show. And now like so much has changed and the fact that like clothes are fitting, I want to like show different parts of my body, like in a modest way, of course, but like just show that I have a waist. I don't know. I think I'm going to wear it tomorrow. I'm excited about it. And I'll, if I end up wearing it, I'll post a picture on Instagram or a vlog or something. But man, it was so fun to get to, it's fun to get to try new clothes. And I'm still trying to be careful and like not buy a lot of stuff. Here come the squirrels again not buy a lot of stuff um, and, you know, be really frugal because I am still trying to lose weight, but it also is fun to have clothes that fit you and you can kind of, I, I am excited about seeing like what kind of style I even have. I've said this before. I don't even know my style. Like for so many years, I've just worn whatever fits, um, you know, whatever I, I can find that fits at all. And um, so it's going to be cool like to have more options and kind of like discover my style. But that black skirt, I think, is totally like a classic piece that I'm going to get a lot of use out of. So I, I got it for $8. Like that is such a good deal. So anyway, that's what I want to add to my wardrobe is like key pieces like that. And I, like I said, I think even as I lose weight, it'll still fit okay because it kind of sits like on my hips. Um, but anyway... It's been a good day. We're going to get the kids here ready for bed. They've all had baths. Get them in bed and go to bed ourselves because tomorrow is Sunday and it's going to be a busy day. I love you all so much. Layla's crying to get in. Layla, you don't even want to sit out here with me. She's like, no, I don't. There's crazy squirrels on the loose. I love you all. If you liked today's video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Definitely subscribe if you're new. We'll see you guys tomorrow.